Hello, welcome to another Siler Instrument Quick Tip. I'm Holly Urbane from Siler, Wisconsin, and today we're going to talk about the View Filter Manager in Trimble Business Center. I'm working with version 2024, but this View Filter Manager has been around forever. Typically, I see people just bringing up the View Filter Manager and turning off the items they don't want to see. If you open up a new view, those same filter settings that you had applied in the previous view are attached to this view as well. You can see at the top, it says the plan view is my filter and the 3D view is my filter. What I don't know a lot of people know is you can build custom filters. So I've created some filters like optical data only, RTK data only, scan data only. So I can quickly jump between topo data, scan data. I don't have to go slide through the entire view filter manager to turn settings on and off. If I bring up a station based view, it always opens up the view in the currently active filter, but I can change it to station based with images, station based without images while I'm doing my work. And you can also see I can have scan data with images in the station view and scan data only in the 3D view. I can also go to the plan view and say I just want the RTK vectors. So each independent view can have its own set of view filters. So using the view filter manager, basically what you want to do is go to all. The all is locked. And then up on the quick toolbar here, you're going to make a copy. So right now we're working in this box. So we're going to turn off any of the things that we don't want. And I'm going to call this one level data. So we're not going to use the point clouds. Under the raw data, we're going to turn everything off except points and level data. Then you hit OK. You've just built yourself a custom view filter called level data only. So now I can pick between optical data, RTK data, and level data. So whichever is your active view, that's what the filter gets applied to. To take it one step further, under the view filter manager, there's an advanced button. You can decide within each filter what's visible and what's selectable. So maybe in the level data, you want to see the topo data, but you don't want to actually be able to edit it. So I can make things not selectable when we're working with this level data only. Another thing I have found handy is if I create one called scan only, by default, I keep going back to that view filter manager and changing it. If I go to the advanced settings, I can actually lock the scan only. So then if I'm using it in one of these view filters and I try to change it, it's actually locked. I'd have to go pick a different one or go back to everything. Now that you've taken all the time to build all of these view filters, what you can do is save this project as a copy, delete the data that's in it, and then save it as a template. And then all of those view filters that you've created will be available next time you start a project using that project template. Thanks for watching another Siler Instrument Quick Tip.